What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Just Roll With It. I'm Grizzly, the DM. I'm Bisley, and I play Chip. I'm Charlie Slimesicle, and I play Gillian Tidestrider, Woo! eater of grass, beater of ass. You stand. <laughs> <laughs> Introduce yourself. God, you're making me uncomfortable. I am kind of fixed up with Jay Farron. Do you have a cool catchphrase, too? Um, uh, um, you um, beat ass. He was telling us about his cool catchphrase that he had that <laughs> uh, he was going to say. Yeah, yeah no, he was really excited about uh, this one. Yeah. I wanted you all to hear it. Arrow. You. What did you roll for? <laughs> <laughs> what could you possibly have, have just I have rolled a, for? I have a predetermined list. What do I want for lunch? Here. Turkey. <laughs> are all the numbers just turkey? Yes. <laughs> of course they are. Guys, guess what? Gun what episode we we're on? Huh? Episode? Huh? 50. Far 50. Oh, yeah, 50. Far. Just like a coin flip. 50 okay. 50. Just like I how your tails. characters have heads. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. I do. More of a shadow I do have a head. <laughs> you really? Grizzly. And what does a dice do? Roll. The same thing your heads are going to do. Heads are what gonna the roll? fuck are you saying? Are you going to do something or are you just making strange out there comparisons right are now? Are you threatening us? I can come over there and fight you now. What I have written today will change everything. Oh. What? What? So. Really? I don't know if I'm... Are you still pirates? The Riptide Pirates met a strange big guy named Duke D. Dukem on a strange island of various oversized plants. After helping him become an actual duke... They've set back out to sea to save Marshal John. And just roll with it. Yeah. Oh! All right. Where we last. Left off. I love this so much. This awesome. is so fucking this is cool. Really this is nice. The three of you. <laughs> Chip. Jay. Yeah. And yeah, Gillian. <laughs> of the Riptide Pirates. <laughs> said goodbye and good luck to Edison Kingdom and began your journey to the Navy prison you believe to be holding Marshal John. However, after an accidental fire on the ship, your trek was halted by a mysterious island which lifted your ship out of the water. You met a Goliath named Duke D. Dukum, who, you who told you of the weird happenings on the island which he claimed to be the Duke of. A low voice, bellowing, came into your minds and asked for help, and all of you made your way through this island to try and reach its center. You met a sentient flower in a rock named Rose and said, <laughs> then you encountered a familiar snail slash squid hybrid plant beast, and then you fought the witch Rowena. Rowena told you the island was a large garden she magically grew on the back of a titan dragon turtle, also named Duke, to extend her life force, but shortening his. After she was defeated, Duke the dragon turtle thanked you all and gave ownership to your new friend Duke, who f officially became Duke de Dukum, Duke of Duke. <sighs> Love that guy. <laughs> Duke de Dukem, Duke of Duke. <laughs> I guess he's technically Duke Duke de Dukem, Duke of Duke. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Anyways, you said your farewells, farewells to Duke and continued back out to sea as the dragon turtle descended enough Duke. into the waters and ventured off into the distance with Duke. And so the journey continues. As you guys are all back out on the ocean, Swaying in the waves together, you're heading towards your destination. Currently, using uh, uh, Jay's hand-drawn map that she copied when looking over Elizabeth, yeah, yeah. so, see this, and doing um, your best. Oh, oh. Yeah. That's lines. Yeah, I'm really happy nothing's on fire right now, Chip. I feel like this is a first for us. Yeah, so see I mean, up. we we have things that aren't on fire all the time. Well, yeah, but you know, it just seems like everywhere you go, things are just on fire. Okay. Yeah, did that you? Doesn't even make sense. Hey, wait, did you was... leave? Did you leave the light on in the cabin? Oh no, that... that's a fire hazard. Oli! Oli! Oh my God! Oh, Dad! Oh, hey. What about? Hey. Oh, what about? Oh, 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 oh. What? What's going on? Oli, you're on fire! What? <laughs> ah! Ah! How did this happen? What happened? How does it keep on happening? I'm so glad I'm wet. Oh my God! I'm on fire! Jeff, get it out! Move! Jeff, get it out! I'm on fire! Stop! Stop! Drop and jump in the sea. Okay. Uh, you guys watch Ollie run up to the railing of the ship and then uh, put one leg up as he's just, he's just jump off and jump into the ocean. 
Gillian, I swear I does, didn't sir. do that. I push him over. Okay, you push him over, and he's like on fire. His legs is he's like pants are on fire. We can only swim from Edison Kingdom, and he falls over into the water. Can you people say, not swim? Some of them. What else do you do? Guys, what? I can't. That's <laughs> fuck. Uh, I want to jump in. <laughs> can, wait, can can Chip swim? <laughs> Wait! <laughs> what? God! Ah, okay. uh, Jay, go get him! Okay. Oh God! <laughs> Wait! I can't fall. Wait, Jay! You don't know how to swim! <laughs> Wait, I don't. <laughs> I'm trying to. Don't go. worry, I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> I love you like my own. The salt oh. content in this water isn't high enough. I'm sinking! I'm sinking! I'm also sinking into the sea! Okay, so all of you jump into the water and pretend to drown. Yeah. Ollie is actually drowning. Oh, okay, uh, this is probably a bad time to do this bit then. Yeah, yeah. also our ship is sailing away. Okay, I rescue him. <laughs> okay, Gillian and ship. Uh, Jay, did you actually jump in the water? Yeah, I did. Okay. I'll get um, back on the boat though. They got this. I will say just. Uh, you don't have to come into bits around. Ship and here. Gillian. Uh, does a 20 hit your AC? It does, right? Both of you? Yes! Yeah! Dude, why do you always roll 20s? Roll a 19 for once. Or like something. <laughs> okay, so, um, both of you just take or five like points of, uh, piercing damage piercing? as, uh, a, a two of these sharks come out of nowhere and just zip right on <laughs> oh, of your leg. Oh, fuck! Oh, shit! And then oh, you see, you see, uh, as, as these, as these sharks bite your leg, they start to, like, pull on you. Uh, so both of you are technically grappled at this moment. And, Chip, like, they're, nobody they're playing! Told... They're playing with us, Chip! They're just oh, playing! Is... Ow! No, it's... <laughs> what the fuck? This is just how they know to play! Gillian, get this thing off of me! I pet it. Release. Okay, so they don't have this. Uh, very good, uh, very good. I'm climbing up the ship. I'm gonna throw a rope down, I guess, to them. <laughs> Okay, uh, you can throw a, a rope down. Um, I would say both of you just make strength checks sure. against the sharks. Do I need to make strength checks? Can I, can I, can I try and break it with animal handling by coaxing the shark and petting it? You, only you can. Thank you. Uh, 13. Okay. 20, not natural. Okay, uh, the shark's chip. Uh, you're able to punch the shark right in the nose and he lets go of your leg. And uh, you can uh, take Ollie up and grab the rope. Uh, well, how do you... Uh... You have some of Gillian's secret meat. There you go. What are you pulling out? Don't it's pull out a pretzel. Some secret meat. No, it's not a secret meat. It's secret meat. meat. He just some has of my secret meat. Secret meat for when, Who knows? Where where knows did you get secret what meat? What the secret meat is? I reach into the briefcase and I think to myself, secret meat, and I pull out the secret meat. Is that there I had, secret and meat? And I give in it there? to the sharks. So when the shark when did we put secret meat in the? Well, it would just be meat if you knew. Can you open a bag of holding underwater? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. Good question. It would fail. It's just some of my secret meat. I don't understand. I don't know. Actually, you might have to like consciously where, put something where in did there. You get it. It's well. I only have one secret meat. It will never matter again. But this is my secret meat that I have. So Wait, in this one moment, because this could have happened. I, have you been saving a secret meat for, for this, a moment? Yeah, I've just saved like it for this? fifty episodes. It's well aged. <laughs> Five hundred pounds oh. of water is only about eight cubic feet. The so bag so bag's capacity would be overloaded, and then it would rupture. Oh God. <laughs> Does that happen? No, because that sucks. <laughs> yeah, that's fun. But hey, it could have happened if I was mean. Anyways, so you play your secret meat, and the uh, the shark's like cheeks. You can see it kind of go a little rosy red oh. as it uh, as its eyes like it just seems to smell. This this is like secret shark meat that only you know of because you're from the undersea and you here's give it, it to him. It, yeah, here's he lets go shark and like a really meat. good dog, he just kind of like and then runs away uh, or swims away. The other one, he stay he, free and wild. The other one is like still kind of angry, but Gillian, you're able to get out of the uh, water in time, unless you want to try and feed this Don't one as well. Don't trust anyone else if they give you their secret meat. Oh I'm God. also gonna give him your shark my secret meat as well. I punched him in the face. Oh, that works too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so with the help of uh, Jay's rope and uh, freeing yourselves from the shark, you guys get back on deck, and Ollie is. <sighs> uh, oh my God, oh, <sighs> Chip, like, you really got to deal with the fire the hazards. Ground. On this, on the ship. I don't know how this keeps happening. I... Feels like home. Well, you ever look at look over there? There's there's a pile of dynamite next to, next to some gunpowder leading towards a lantern that's very poorly hung in the your wall. Shi your <laughs> ship is just one <laughs> one big safety hazard. That's believable. <laughs> just in case. Okay. What? Just in case what? Because we need it. The gunpowder on the floor. No question my there's, plans. How did you question Gillian and his secret meat? What about these uh these military sea mines here in the cabin? That what look about like the secret meat? 
What about the secret? Well, beach? listen, Where the military sea mines are, are very tactical for if we get be beached, okay? We need those. I was chosen by the gods, and I chose this secret meat for that shark. I knew. Listen, I think the secret. What do the I gods think, have I to do with you I think the secret meat was a great idea. A weird meat. Okay, I think it was Blessed. a fantastic idea. Thank you, Jay. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to my room now. Don't set anything more on fire, okay? What are you? Uh, what are you up to? Oh, you know, I'm just. I've had some crazy ideas. So check this. Right? Crazy. You know, you're not like arson, right? Not like arson. No, oh, I wouldn't burn it. That's a chip thing. Gloss. That's a chip thing. Hey, you know, like your armor. Yeah. So I was thinking, what if I, I, I took these metal <laughs> plates we had and just put more plates on your armor? You want to just make my armor more armor? <laughs> yes. That sounds. <laughs> Jay, this is why you're the brains of the operation. It's it's true. I would never have thought of anything like that. Chip doesn't have these kind of brains. Chip, I'm are you like, hearing this? I'm just like twiddling with a throw. What? Jay, you should make a startup. Oh yeah, in other news, I also made this gun auto reload. Hey! Everything going all right over there? Check Earl? this out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Earl, what's... Do you shoot at Earl? No. <laughs> 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 no you bitch! But the, but the you metal bitch! Metal, the, the, <laughs> you little bitch! <laughs> <laughs> the metal from your gun creates a small spark when you move it that hits a barrel <laughs> You remind me of my wife, you know, always aiming weapons at me for no goddamn reason. Earl, you remind me of Ollie because Earl, you're yeah, also yeah, on you fire. Keep this up, I'm actually gonna shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't get me like that. You had a wife? Yeah, I told you that. He's old. I, I had I one. I just, well, that's two, two married men on this ship. How, many, how many wives did you have? Two, what do you mean? What do you take me for, huh? Oh yeah, no, two married, two married loyal men Surely on, yeah, on the ship. Her. There's two uh, of us. Perfect. I'm not married Good anymore. Stuff. What happened? She died. Oh. oh. Yep. Sorry to hear that. Well, it happened a while ago. Maybe a decade or two. Decade. Oh. Earl, oh. what did you, what did you do before, um, you completely voluntarily joined our crew? Well, yes, I. Yes, we absolutely didn't kidnap you. I ran the tavern. You remember where you found me? That was my wife's tavern. Oh. That's where I learned to make the juice. Juice. And it's good juice. It's good juice. I picked up this weird purple fruit at the, uh, <laughs> so he holds up this, like, purple spiked fruit, uh, that he, I found it on that island that we were beached on while you guys were gone doing whatever you're doing. DM, oh. does it look good? It looks like a, uh, more, more kind of, like, it, it has a texture of a berry, the shape of an eggplant, and the spikes of a pineapple. Whoa. Huh. I don't know what any of those things are. That was <laughs> normal fruit to me. But that's what it looks like. He just holds it up. I don't know how to like, get into it yet. I pull out my sword. But when I figure this baby out, we're going to have some more juice. I do. I want to try and slash it in half. <laughs> <laughs> do you have to roll to slash a, to cut no, 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 fruit? No, 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 no. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Is it spe it's special? You don't want to cut fruit with a fucking sword, okay? You'll bruise the insides. What do you mean bruise yeah, the insides? Gillian, that thing is like covered in blood. Is it? Be it's all the process. It the process always... starts from skinning the fruit. When it runs fruit, out, I cover it Cracking the blood. fruit open, squeezing the That's fruit. Really weird. There's many ways to get juice. And I gotta have some alone time with this one to figure out how to get it out. Oh. You know what, Earl? Hey? If anybody was gonna figure out this juice, it would be you. I, I would like to uh, go up to him and say, it is your destiny to crack this fruit. Now throw him a D4. And he gets an extra D4. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm just gonna bless all the NPCs and start fucking throwing dice at you, I swear to God. I suddenly feel like it's my destiny. Oh, not you two. What the fuck did you do to me? <laughs> I just, I just, I showed you what was in you all along. Don't ever touch me just again. Just like you're gonna show us what was in that fruit all along. Don't ever touch me again. Okay, I'm sorry, Earl. You wanna lose your kneecaps, fish boy? No. <laughs> Jesus Christ, no, fish don't. boy. Sorry, Earl. That's oh, good. by the way. You read those papers, and he pulls out like the that bundle of papers that papers. you guys got from Isaac, and he just like slaps it under your hands. I read them all. Interesting stuff in there. Interesting stuff. We and he... got papers from. Uh... I look yeah. at it. I'll read the paper. I'll read the paper. All reading the paper. Yeah. Do you know how to read, Gillian? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, yes, but right now, no. Do an investigation check to see how well you pay attention and retain the information one? on the paper. Whoever sure, reads the paper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four, okay. It's 20 total. You guys also read investigations? Or roll? Yeah, so... Uh, yeah, I, I, just, just, I, I gave Jay advantage on hers. Oh, I can roll my own? Yeah. Sweet. Um, I did 20. 16. Okay. 
So 20 and 16 are enough to get most of the information. Obviously, it's a newspaper. You guys don't really miss anything or skim over. But uh, here's a few things you should read. Sure. Awesome. One of the first kind of uh, updates on a story that had been written about previously uh, is the story of the outbreak and sort of small battle between citizens and the Navy. Uh, and that is Canela and the town of Zero. Oh, Zero. Uh, there's been a... Hey, Ollie. Remember your hometown? <laughs> what? Yeah. Oh, yeah, where Mama is. Yeah, there's... Oh. You read that it's been declared neutral soil as the fighting basically didn't come to any, like, one or the other conclusion. It was declared neutral soil because the Navy had to focus its forces elsewhere. It writes about how the Navy left uh, the island, but there was no... Um, there's no resolution. There's no resolution. Yeah. Yeah. So neutral soil is kind of like what uh. It means that. Well, not well sure. I just mean like the so uh funny. the island where we did the tournament, the Paramount tournament. That is, that was, was outlaws. Outlaws. So okay, yeah. gotcha. So basically, like. That was they, definitely not neutral. I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> hey, I just so you almost got shot. Yeah, I mean, I did. Speaking of Geraldo, hey. one of the big high highlights or headlines that you are are reading down is the raid on Joaldo, the Navy raid on Joaldo. Uh, it talks about how multiple pirate crews were captured. It mm -hmm. talks about how the area itself, the island itself is no longer outlaw soil and is considered Navy soil and could possibly be uh, turned into something for the Navy as multiple pirate crews were captured, as I just said. And a big thing is a previous Navy soldier oh, no. turned traitor a one Marshal John sent to be executed. Oh, no, fuck! No. In the Navy's prison for most dangerous criminals and traitors. Does it say when? Um, no, it doesn't. The last thing, uh, sort of like a footnote of that big story, is two crews, increased bounties, to be determined, oh. both with citizens of the undersea. Hey, you're from the undersea. Yeah, that's strange. Caspian's from the Odyssey too. He is. Oh, that's huh. funny. He's a great guy. <clears throat> there is you think not it's us. The no. paper writes. The paper yeah, tries to right. explain yeah. more about like the undersea, but it just says if there's very little information. It just says. Okay. Yeah, but they just know that aquatic, fish-like appearance people are from the undersea. They know the name of the place. Interesting. And that the navy okay. is in negotiations, quote unquote. They're in negotiations with the undersea? I mean- That's what the paper is writing. Uh-oh. Haven't they always been, had some sort of relationship with the undersea? So- Not necessarily. You're all able to read that, transfer it over to both Ollie, Old Man, or Old Man already read it all, and, uh, and then to Gilliam. Cool. <sighs> Police Navy is, is bad moves. That's what I think. I mean, Okay, yeah. They're gonna ex execute I mean, they're John, executing... he's my boy! They he's are, our yeah, boy. you're right, you're right. Okay, he's our man. listen. Listen. He's a great guy. Uh, it's weird, though, okay? Because, like, the Navy I knew back when I was younger, they weren't like this. You know, they didn't attack outlaw soil. <laughs> they didn't. Well, it's different now, Jay. I mean, look what? back at what happened on Zero. It's, it's not the same Navy you knew. You knew that leaving. Yeah, I know. It's just weird. It's weird because I don't feel... Some of the people in my family wouldn't be so okay with it, I don't think. At least maybe I don't know them the way I thought I do. Sometimes it's just the people in charge mm. and everyone else going along. Jimmy. But I, I think in a case like this, it seems like there may be some deep corruption which we can sort out at this prison Maybe, I don't know. This is probably just a small piece of the problem here at the prison. Jay, have you talked to anyone in your family? Not recently. I mean, my mom. I've sent her letters. But she's not Navy. She hasn't said anything? No. I've never gotten anything back. You know that she's still technically... Uh, she's married to a Navy soldier. Yeah. Which yeah. makes her family... like, She's not in the Navy as a soldier. But their family is under the Navy because they are under marriage yeah. mm -hmm. by of bond. So well, she, as a pirate, would be a traitor, technically. Well, even if it is your family, you'll 
You can right those wrongs. Well, that may be easier said than done. We'll just kill all the evil people in the Navy. Well, and I'll return maybe, to the formal like, like, glory. You know, I don't, and there are some. Oh, I know. There are some. Well, I mean, like, kill. We'll kill them. <laughs> Well, maybe not uh, kill. No, how about maim? How about we no. usurp, usurp them? Uh, we could just free the prisoners. We could, um... How about I, that? I just don't feel like that's necessary, Gillian. You know, I know a lot of people in the Navy. Freeing the, freeing the prisoners is resulting is, is resolving the effect, but not the cause. Okay, so. but what if all the prisoners aren't, like, good people? What, well, if we, what if we unleash, like, disaster on the world because we uh, let out a serial killer or something? Well, then... Well, then we kill that person too. Okay. And then that so evil will be resolved. <laughs> but well, I. Uh, are you are you <laughs> suggesting. I don't even know if I should say this. <laughs> what, Jay? You're what are suggesting you some twisted form of eugenics? Eugenics? <laughs> what is that? What the fuck does that mean? I don't know, Jay. Please explain. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know what that means, all he says. I, Me you, neither, Jay. Please elaborate. Yeah, Jay, I don't really. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe later. Um. <laughs> Me as the DM doesn't know that. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> the definition of eugenics is wait a like second. That's what the Nazis or, did. It's calling or not letting people reproduce. Yeah, so um, that they have specific they traits based on yeah. yeah their traits. So <laughs> yeah, the implication there being that <laughs> killing evil people is eugenics because then you'll just have good people. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's one way to put it, yeah. I guess. <laughs> Morality. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> sure. What if um, killing the evil people makes more evil people? How? They're dead. Well... Look, we don't need to kill anybody, okay? We just... We free Marshal John and we go from there. Okay. Yeah, sure. Jay, uh... Jay's the one kind of helping you guys do the navigating right now. Yeah. So Jay can roll, like, as a basic survival check. Plus four, that's gonna be 15. Uh, you would be able to guesstimate uh vaguely so not like a yeah. a somewhat educated guess mm -hmm. that you guys are about maybe a day and a half's travel away yeah so i'm thinking maybe day and a half uh so this day is kind of like the half once you rest oh. tomorrow mm -hmm. you will have that day and then the next day you'll probably arrive near the oh morning. so that means do we technically have two long rests um you get a long rest tonight and then possibly if your guess is right you'll rest again tomorrow okay what did you just do there with the licking and the, and the putting up? Oh, that's how you, so like, try it. Actually, you're already moist. Just put your hand <laughs> No, oh, oh god. <laughs> oh, it's dripping. I see everything. Yeah, that's... All at once. You can tell where the wind is blowing. Everywhere. Um... Our destiny lies that great. way. Hey, anyway, wanna give me your armor quickly? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, by the way. <clears throat> if you're going to do uh, any, any modifications or you're making your yeah, cool, yeah. cool gun thing, um, uh -huh. maybe there's something in here you can use. And I open my briefcase and dump out, uh, I guess, just 500 pounds of seawater I accidentally let leak in, <laughs> uh, from opening it underwater. And also, all these stuff, uh, that we got from the, the treasure hoard. So you just dump stuck. out everything that you had in the briefcase, though? Yeah! Including some more mystery meat? Uh, yeah, some falls out and you don't get to, like, fully make out what color it is, or, like, Wait its a texture. Minute. What are the <laughs> Shove it back in. Don't mind that. I think saw I saw like a reddish, orangish, greenish. There was yellow in there, Jay. <laughs> but I told you it wouldn't be mystery. You could try and reach into the back, but you don't know what to ask for. Trust me. <laughs> you guys dump out a handful of coins, a mixture of what seem to be platinum gold. Uh, I'll just I'll give you the numbers in platinum and gold. Cool. But. Uh, you also dump out a few items that look kind of rare. Oh, wow. I will explain them to you in just a second as I bring out this calculator. A fork. Wow. We can eat with this. No more using our hands. Let's just start making up like really <laughs> ridiculous things. Oh my God. This is a number two pencil. Whoa. I used this really in good. school. Holy shit. Some of these dentures are in here. Oh, I think that's all my oh. I think those are actually yours. Those are your dentures. Gillian, I don't- I have teeth. They're plus one dentures, you have to put them in. They're plus one. I'm not putting this in my mouth. They're Why magical, is there a clump of hair weapons. in here? Why would they do that? I oh, don't know. It's from the- just, it's just from the large dead cat. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah. <laughs> Throw it off the ship. Why- actually, most of this is hair. Why do Why we have so it, much hair? It's slippery, too. It's like- Oh, god. Is it, even, is it actually hair? There's no way it's hair. 
It's moving. It's moving. Why is oh, it? Oh, God. Is it? oh no! Oh God! <laughs> no, what is that? I, no, it's, it likes me. I'm forming a connection. <laughs> no, with no, the no, hair. Don't touch that thing. <laughs> oh, no, it's good. You guys dump out about one hundred platinum pieces. Jesus. What? Whoa! What is that in gold? And uh, ten thousand. One thousand gold pieces. So a total of two thousand gold. Halved. You gave two thousand gold to the orphanage, and you have two thousand gold left over. Okay, so we have how many platinum pieces? That would I think I said a hundred. Yeah, a hundred platinum pieces, which I is think. a one thousand gold. If you guys oh, okay. split it up to be amongst each other, you would all have six hundred and sixty-six, about six hundred and sixty-seven gold pieces apart. A, a person. Uh, yeah, I'll let you guys have a little more. I'll take two. I. So basically, two thousand gold okay. total. A hundred. Uh, a hundred of the gold is is basically, or a thousand of the gold is a hundred platinum pieces. So, Gillian, you don't. Gillian, I mean, you know, there's been I things don't, you want I, to buy. You know, I had to buy you that plate suit. Oh, you have that's money. true. That's true. The um, economy is important. Do I have to pick? So when people ask me for things, can't okay, I just so let's, can't I just like slay their demons for sell, them? So sell me this dice quickly. Sell you it? Yes, I'm going to show you how this works. Okay. It is your destiny to have this dice. So. How do you get money from that? Thank you. You just I gave have, it to him. I have money. No, you, you need to money. get. You need it's to sell money. things to get money. Okay, now let's see this. See this dice? Yes. Very nice dice. Give yes, me one gold is. piece for it. I don't want it. <laughs> Why not? Yes, you do. I don't want it. Why would I want it? It's a dice. Um, it rolls twenties every time. Whoa! Yeah, that's right. That's Check cool. this out. That's cool. Okay, uh, so we have two thousand gold. Okay. <laughs> um, how do we actually want to split it up? Um. Well, we're, didn't we say we were going to spread this everywhere anyway? I say we just leave a bunch in yeah, the pile and I, take I'm, a little for Yeah, I don't even need any. I'm good. I have no money. I need You money. could uh, use this as like a group fund and leave them in like treasure chests on mm -hmm. the ship. Uh, which we, we, surely we also pirate said, chests. Surely we put pirate chests in a ship. We, so we need a pirate chest. If it's not a in a place where it can all be stolen from us, are we really pirates? That's true. Exactly true. It's, if also if it's not in a place where it can catch on fire and we lose it all, what if we take none we of really... it and we put it all in chests? If, so if you leave it off your person, it. right? So like you put it all in chests, you leave it on the ship, you risk the opportunity of it getting stolen. Exactly. Or it yeah. getting lost. We're pirates. We're pirates. Come on! We put it all in chests. Steal our okay. shit. No, I'm, I'm taking 500 gold. Um, so Jay's stingy ass gets 500 gold. That's right. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> yeah, I'm say messing. it again. No, no, stick to it. Okay. It's true. All right. Fuck you. I take, um, I would take platinum, but instead, how much gold is there that I can take that I, I just want to take a bunch of gold that I can just throw at people? I think we keep all the platinum in a, in a chest. Yeah, let's do it. There's how a thousand pieces of, a thousand gold pieces. Okay, I take, and if so she, you, you get took 500? Yeah. You could take, uh, I think that you could take 50 platinum and you could take 500 gold. I'll just take 500 gold. And then let's give out one platinum piece to every person we see on the street for the next I don't, 15 hey, days. Hang on, good. hang on. What if we just keep it here? And don't give it all away. Do you like this dice? <laughs> do you like this dice? No, I don't want. You want this dice? You want that dice? I, you want this dice? I do not you want, want the dice. I'll give you this dice if you give away all your money. Why to, do I to want people the dice? Need it. Because you because you're gonna help people with it. That's I don't care. It's yeah. your destiny to take this dice. No, it's not. Look, I actually kind of want that dice back. Oh, here you go. Oh, thank you. Dang it! Oh, I, did kill. It I really again. was just about to take I did the it dice. Oh. Oh, carp. <laughs> <laughs> Instead carp? of crap. That's so, on, funny. That's so funny. That's so funny. That's funny. Stop. The, item, the Stop. items you guys find, there are three items that you that come with that you dump out. One of them is the tome that the king accidentally pulled out. It seems to be this black and gold book with uh, mm. gems on the... Um, black and gold. Okay, mm. okay, it's not like... It's just a black book. Tome oh. of black and gold. Does it say death note on it? No. What yeah. the fuck? I, that was not the conclusion I was no. when I When I say black and gold, it's black and I then like want, the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I take it right. Property of Gillian Tidestrider <laughs> and then die. <laughs> it's a black leather book, but the... It's like a... You know the Bible when like the pages are all shiny when it's closed? You know the Bible? Yeah, it's you the, know the Bible. Oh my God. You know, like, I read the, it all. Oh my God. Okay, but it's like... It's gold instead of <laughs> yes, silver. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it has like a few encrusted small gems on the front that make the shape of like a circle or something. Whoa. I'll put it in the pirate this, chest. This Jesus guy seems rat. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is magical. You can tell. You don't know what it does. Can uh, I do a, hey, um, hey, hey, hey. Okay. Just All give right. me one second. Let me, I'm pretty sure you're smarter. Let me fucking. So you go ahead. Let me tell you what everything is before okay, you. Sorry. Okay. Sorry, DM. Sorry. I <laughs> you guys do like 
uh you and ollie also did throw in some like goblets and jewels that just mm -hmm. you could you'd have to like take them to an appraised uh, a person to get appraised mm -hmm. um but <laughs> the other two items one of them seems to be a, a golden spyglass like a pirate telescope thing the other one is just a red pirate bandana i'd like to take the telescope what you didn't take the bandana i'm surprised i have a bandana mm -hmm. but isn't but this one's this one's cool. When you look on the inside of this one, it has like etched runes into the cloth, like stitched runes. Oh, no, I don't. Did wait. you just think it was a regular bandana in a in a hoard of magical treasure? I don't know what I thought. I, I just, just want to make sure. No, it's pretty magical. I mean, I know you're pretty deaf. Deaf to magic? Do you know how? I'm not deaf. I can hear you just fine. What? 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 <laughs> what? Someone say something. It's absolutely so it's magical. Magic? Yes. It's got glow. I can hear it. Okay. Glowing oh. runes on it. I pull the one off of my head. What's the worst thing that can Who happen? Who wants this one? What's that one? No, oh, no. I'm not wearing any. I'll take it. <gasps> yes. All right. Come here. Come here. I now pirate you. Is that how that works? So this means so I'm like officially. What's my job? I feel like we've said he's officially part of the crew like oh, No, times. no, this is the ceremony. Okay. This is the ceremony. Oh, can I okay. offici I'm officiating You're officiating the ceremony. Neil, Ollie. Okay, okay. Hey, okay. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. By the sea no, of no. the moon, by the strength of the tide. That's, that's not pirate stuff. Rise from your stance. Yeah. Okay. That's not pirate Our stuff. Our seaward guide. That's you have to say good. pirate stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. I feel it. All right. How's that? Are you ready? Yeah. I'm going to tighten it. All right. Three, two, one. You're a pirate. I'm a pirate. He's a pirate. I'm a pirate. Yo-ho. Yo-ho. Yo -ho. What the? F I never got officiated. Oh. Earl, you're, uh, come Earl, on. You're, 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 you're the right. original pirate. I'm the captain of this ship. And all of you are going to scrub the deck because look how fucking dirty it is. Anyway. You see okay. that, that Earl, barrel over there? Earl, I'm that barrel over there Earl, is right I'm next to the fuse. I'm Earl, scrubbing. Earl, Earl. We'll get I'm to scrubbing. it. Listen, listen. Just go make your juice. We're the captains. Shut the fuck up. Start using shape water to scrub <laughs> the deck <laughs> immediately. I have right. to listen to Earl. Hey, Earl. Respect uh, your elders. Please. Been kind of what he said. Respect your elders. Come on, Jay. He's Earl. Okay, here, give me the magic items. When you're asleep tonight, you better cover your big toe, woman. Can do that? Yeah, you can do that. Oh, cool. I have a spell. You can do what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you so what they do. You can identify the magic oh, items. Sure. Oh, you yeah. can? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have identify spell? I have identify. Wow! Yeah. Wow. That makes it so much easier. We don't have to do like homebrew solutions yeah. to figure out what they are. Okay, so you're gonna, is it like a ritual? You have to I, so I had to spend one minute staring at it deeply. <laughs> okay, so there are three <laughs> items, the spyglass, the tome, and the bandana. I got it. Okay. It's a bandana of shitting yourself. Put it on, ship. What? What? Of shitting yourself? <laughs> Hey, you can't, you can't, listen, you can't pee yourself, okay? That's Here, Chip, you try, I try, pass it over to Chip, and while I'm passing it, I shit myself. Oh! <laughs> oh! You would tune to it accidentally, that's rough. Oh, it's rough. Anyway, what's it actually do? So, is it a spell slot, or? Uh, it is a spell slot, yes. Okay, just make sure you have, do you have three spell slots, or? No, I have plenty, yeah. All right, all right. It's a level one spell slot. So, go ahead and mark it. Oh, okay. No uh, Chip, are you going to tell Chip what it actually does? Yeah, or? what does it actually do? Okay, then. For all of you, as Jay explains to you what it, what it does, is she finds out. for real. Um, this is a bandana pirate bandana of disguise so of put it disguise. on oh. and if you think of what you want to look like oh god it basically works like disguise self you. you can oh, change no your entire way. appearance yeah oh uh, how many no uh, many way. charges this is this is just at will at will okay try it try it turn into old man the rest of this episode is going to be bits. okay okay do you have any um, idea what you just did <laughs> Who oh my fucking god, god. That is convincing. Oh, oh my fucking god oh, do you need anything uh, give me some fucking juice. Okay, all right, 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 right away, right away. Why are there two of me? Oh. Why are there two of me? Oh god, he's the real one. Who the fuck is this guy? He's the real one. He's the real one. That's the real one, right there. Kill him. That's the real one. That's the real one. Kill him. Fuck him. Kill, kill the, the real one. Kill the real one. I pull out my sword. <laughs> I'm too old for this Which shit. Which one, Earl? Killian. It yes. is my destiny. Am I Killian? It's my destiny. <laughs> it's your destiny. You it's are my Gillian. destiny, Killian. Okay. Killian, it's me, Killian. But I'm Gillian. No. No, Gillian, it's I, Gillian. It's not your destiny Gillian. to be Gillian. I'm Gillian. Gillian, you can't be Gillian because I'm, I'm Gillian, Gillian Tide Strider. No, my worst Hero of the Undersea. This, champion of the this was, this was a mistake. Singer, songwriter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this as you kick mistake. him off the ship, 
Chip, you would know uh, just from wearing it that this is a magical transformation. It can be see-through. So when you do this against people who are not willing to be deceived, like us, um, you have to roll deception, basically. Okay. Um, deception, that's awesome. Yeah. Maybe mm -hmm. I should actually increase it. Anyway, deception agree. performance depends on what you're doing. Performance. But usually it's yes, deception because hopefully. you are lying. It's crazy to me you don't have some. Okay, let's see this way. next one. Right? Here. Yeah, well. All right. He's a liar, just not a good oh, one. Oh, Jay's, uh, Jay's eyes are bugging out of her fucking head again. <laughs> <laughs> so, which one are you looking at now? Um, You said there is a spyglass? Yes. Let's do that one. So, this is called the spyglass of the navigator. Yeah. I like to imagine you look at it for a minute and you're like moving it around and then you finally look through it and you're like, oh. <laughs> so that's how it works. Before you look into it, you have to attune to this uh, during a short rest. Okay. Or, or long rest, I forget what the attunement thing is. You can only be, a, obviously you can only be attuned to two items at once, but in mm -hmm. order to use this, you have to be attuned. It sort of works like casting the commune spell, but you can only ask about the weather, your course, and the ship. Oh, that's cool. And the okay. next thing, as you identify it, I'd read the book. Oh, as uh, you just scrolling through the book, it is a book of golden pages oh. that have like black scribbles, some writing that doesn't make any sense. It almost looks like runic. Um, mm -hmm. However, when do I cast identify? This is Thomas Edison's Tome of Thoughts. Thomas Edison. That's the. Oh my God! It's him, Thomas Edison. Who? The guy who made the light bulb. Lit the dead king. Hmm? <laughs> Oh. Yeah. yeah, you're able to put it together. That's the that's the young king. That's Leon's father. Okay, you stole from his treasury, not Leon's. Cool, cool. So does it, is it just a diary? So a, the user of the Tome of Thoughts can put their hand on a piece of paper and think up to twenty words, or so. I have to think of the specifics, and that gets written down, but in a different language. And if you touch the paper again, you hear the thoughts played back. Oh, huh. huh. I don't think I've ever had a single thought. I have. I'll, I'll Essentially, just... you know that if you touch one of the uh, papers that have that has been left by the mm. late King Edison, you'd be able to hear his thoughts play back. Okay. In his oh. voice, that's cool. Hmm? That's so cool. it's kind of like a it's like a journal. It's a magical journal. You should TTS troll people with that. Just like oh we oh we oh we yeah just just think W like seven and then put your hand on it and throw it at someone's head and then just hear W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W W Okay. Well, I'll hold on to those last two things, I guess, unless you want one. You More of a lore item. You a navigator? Oh, uh, definitely not. I only know down. Okay, I know up. Whoa. Yeah. Can I didn't somebody know get me back on the ship? No. How did that even... Yeah, I get him back on the ship. <laughs> you know there's ship, a how'd ladder. You get, how'd you get there? Oh, just uh, floating around, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways... We gotta be on our way, guys. Let's get to this prison. <sighs> Isn't it gonna take like a day and a half? Whoa, I like the. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. That you're so doing well, we had to pose dramatically. Oh, otherwise I love we'll, it. Otherwise, love we'll it. never get there. I pose. Okay. Who's holding on to which item? Elbow. No. Gil Gillian, stop. My destiny Gillian, stop. does not stop. compromise so, from uh, Chip. Stop. Chip has Compromised the bandana. And I'm keeping the spyglass <laughs> and <laughs> Toma thoughts. Okay. So you strap the book and the, and the spyglass to your, your belts. And uh, you guys pose dramatically and yes, continue we to do. sail off. Mm -hmm. uh, during your <laughs> during this time, <laughs> off the ship Jay, you would be able to attune to the spyglass because it's technically a short mm -hmm. rest. Uh, but, I'd also like to use my two charges for the day of uh, infusing items and give Gillian a plus one to his AC on it. his armor. All right. So no, not that Gillian. <laughs> <laughs> so he gets brought up to twenty-one. Oh, cool. Now he needs to roll twenty-one, and I'm gonna. And now all my, of his rolls against me is twenty. So this is gonna change the world. My uh, my pistol is now plus one on attack or on damage. I think I need to double check that. And the thing uh, is, is some, sometimes I roll like an eighteen, and I'm like, okay, well they would definitely have above plus two, but I don't know exactly what it is because I'm improving their hit on the spot. So I'm like, okay, well twenty. And, uh, we'll then keep doing that. Okay. Yeah. Keep, keep doing it. Keep well, I'm not gonna that. have to do that this session since I have. Keep, to stop please keep saying twenty for everyone. Hey Chip, yeah. you want something cool done? 
What? You want something cool done? With your weapon? Like I mean, what? like, I, I don't know, like, I'm, I've been thinking of ideas, you know, I have these magnets. What if you, like, <laughs> threw your, your, your weapon, and then after it hit whatever, it would just uh, suck back to your hand? Well, it... Well, that was the point of the chains, but I... Well, yeah, now they're broken. I mean, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is. Uh, I can't do this right now. I'm really. I just I'm, kind of miss the I'm, chains. I'm zonked out. Okay, I can. I can make like chains that extend. What? Yeah, that that's just flavor. It's the flavor <laughs> of the same thing. What do you mean? That's just flavor. It's flavor what of the same say, thing. What do they really. taste like? Something? What are they? Great? Yeah, they're. You saying flavor? No, they're more like uh, milk chocolate. Milk chocolate chains. Yeah. Yum yum. <laughs> No, Jay, just don't, just don't worry about it. Okay. It's fine. Jay, I owe you doubly now. If anything if anything ever were to befall you, I will jump in front of it, and it, it shall kill me Gillian, instead. Yes. Just think of me every time you don't die. So all the time. <laughs> until I die. I guess so. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Done. You guys spend the rest of the day um, attuning to the items that you have and traveling on the sea, getting up to whatever shenanigans you might. And the night comes... And all of you begin to long rest. Okay, good night. Alright, guys. Alright. Eight hours, Grizz. No, oh, yeah. Wake us up in eight hours. Oh, yeah. Eight hours. Good night. Good night. Back into the fish barrel. <laughs> Back into the barrel. Why is he all crying? Why is he all crying? <laughs> what is he dreaming? Girl, shut up! Hey! <laughs> Stop crying! Is it his wife again? Oh, oh my god. What the fuck, Jay? What? That's actually awful. <laughs> he does this every night. No, he fucking doesn't. Yes, he does. This no, is just doesn't. the first time we played he it out. <laughs> I don't cry myself to sleep. Chip, when you cry in your sleep, is it about your wife too? <laughs> yeah, all the time. That's what that is. That's beautiful. Yeah, Jay, would you like it if I... Harass you about your night terrors? God damn it. That I don't know happened? Never mind. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, what are you even talking about right now? I don't have us. <laughs> yeah, you don't, and I have no reason to think you do. <laughs> Earl, what are you crying about? <laughs> okay, good morning. I can't get the juice. Oh, morning. I love morning. I can't get the juice out of the fruit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not about his wife. While Earl is sleeping, <laughs> next day, I try what? and get the juice out of the fruit. What are you going to do? I'm gonna try and cut the fruit open like he told me not to, and I'm gonna try and put it there and make it look like somehow it has happened. You make me so nervous when uh, you start shaking hey. the dice like this and you're talking about a fruit. Roll a nature check. Oh. Well, this is gonna be a problem. You are one with nature. <laughs> the lack of enthusiasm you get after, like, <laughs> wanting to hit you're something. I'm gonna hit something. Six. So now roll the hit. Yeah! Twenty-three! <laughs> it's a fruit, and you hit it. Now, yes. roll your damage. On a fruit. How, On how, the fruit, fruit ninja. <laughs> Gillian is just fruit ninja. <laughs> Anytime you're playing fruit ninja, Gillian is on the other I side. I do seven slashing damage to the fruit. Does it go open? You rupture the fruit. What do you mean, rupture it? And it goes exploding in four different pieces uh, all over the floor and oh. on the cupboards and cabinets. Earl's not gonna be happy about that. And oh, then Earl no. lifts his head up from the hammock. Oh, it's not what it looks like. <laughs> what did you do? Earl, it's No! I I no. was just trying to no. help Earl. No! It, look, it's no. in pieces! He it's like goes look. he like gets on his knees and picks up the fruit like pieces. This is <laughs> <laughs> oh, We're crying. not gonna be able to make juice out of this, you fucking moron! No! Oh! No, but it looks still good. It's what did I tell you? Isn't this it what you wanted? He shoves it in your mouth. Did <laughs> that? Eat the fruit it's you not just good. ruined. It's not good. We're never gonna have good fruit. Oh, hey guys, I couldn't sleep. What's going on? Oh, oh God, no. Go ahead, uh, Earl. Go ahead and end. Um... <laughs> You're so scared. <laughs> Kill it. it doesn't taste good when you eat it raw like this. And um And it would have tasted good. Earl kicks you out I of his kitchen and, and you get uh you get thrown <laughs> back into you were the villain all along. I just wanted to do it. Billion yeah. is you real. guys get thrown back into the bottom deck and continue your long rest. Yep. <sighs> so This is the most I've ever felt like I failed. <laughs> 
<laughs> We've literally left people to die on several occasions. That's true. But this is different. But you and you cut a fruit. This was our. And we all said you shouldn't cut the fruit, this and then you cut the fruit, and I, you're like, man. You cut it like he, a barbarian. He needed someone to help him. A barbaric. Act. Yeah, help him get the juice and not destroy <laughs> that which he loved. The next day comes, uh, and you guys continue your travel. Jake, are you using the? Um, okay. Yes, sir. I am. <laughs> um, I'm using the, the spyglass on that game. Okay. Hey everyone, I hope you think episode 50 is sweet, but let's get a little sweeter, because today's episode is sponsored by Honey! Hubba Hubba! We all shop online, and how many times have you reached checkout, seen that promo code field, and just wished you had the right letters? That's where Honey comes in. Manually searching for coupon codes is not something you have to do anymore. That's because Honey is the free browser extension that shoots out its special bees onto the internet to find you promo codes and apply the best one to your cart. Honey also supports over 30,000 stores online, so whether you're buying dice, mice, or 300 bags of ice, they've got gotcha. you. If you don't have Honey, you're just missing out on free savings. It's completely free and installs in just a few seconds. And by getting it, you're also supporting this podcast and helping us do things like record episode 50 in person. So right now, go to joinhoney.com slash J-R-W-Y and get Honey for free. Go to joinhoney.com slash J-R-W-Y. Enjoy the rest of the episode, and I'll slime you later. So uh, um, before you bring it up to your eyes, you uh, connect with it, and you, uh, as soon as you like extend it out, you're able to ask it, almost like kind of like a microphone, uh, three questions. Um, so it's regarding course, right? So could I ask? Course weather in the ship, yes. Would it be able to be? How fair are the seas today? For first question, second question, how long until our destination? I feel like that makes sense, right? Course, yeah. Oh, okay. It is course related, and. <clears throat> Are we going in the right direction? You get the sense as soon as you put it up to your eyes. Um, it uh, it basically the there's like a like a like almost like a HUD kind of thing, except it's just huh. arcane like runes. The uh, you see like like a, a, a moving smooth waves to indicate that uh, the waters are going to be as con like consistent as it is now. Uh -huh. Normal, no uh, no upcoming Very storms. Very nice, nice weather today. Mm -hmm. yes, no sure. uh, like unfor unforeseen whirlpools. Uh, and then the next thing you get is there's kind of like a, a, a uh, looking through it, there's like a <laughs> floating oh. arrow. I don't want to make this too game-like, <laughs> but it, uh, it's almost as if like the clouds form or like the wind itself kind of like blows in a direction, uh, um, just like the arcane parts of this. Uh, mm -hmm spyglass that kind of shift you asking you to go a little bit more west okay um and with that correction you get the sense that this will be uh you guys will be there by midday today okay hmm. and it hey, is currently Chip, morning we need to go slightly more to port um uh can can i still just be laying in my burned bed uh, <laughs> oh my god what oh my god he isn't awake yet is he uh, i had to do everything around here and what did it say about time sorry by midday, if midday. you go the right way. I see. I can put it back together. I can. We can still make it juice, mm. Earl. I'm just gonna. It's, it's gonna be I go and turn the, the, the ship shit. slightly more to port. Give up. I got you. Give up on it. I've moved on. I haven't. I never will. You gotta move on. Loss is a part of life, Killian. People die. I haven't lost yet. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm right. slamming fruit! Um, Gillian, while you are, oh. I believe you have the conch shell, right? Yes. It was given back to you when ship used it? Uh, yeah, I think you so. You feel it, uh, it's sort of like a buzzing in your <laughs> pocket. <laughs> Hello, you've reached Gillian Tide Strider, champion of the undersea, hero of the deep. Um, hang on, I've got a couple more recently. I think fish... Walking fish is on there now. Mm -hmm. uh, weed eater is on there. Uh, Gillian. Oh, Caspian. Yeah. Um. Hey, how's uh, everything going? You finally uh, made your way out of. Uh... Yeah. Yeah. Hang. Sorry. Hang on. Singer songwriter still <laughs> for all in your heart. That was good. Still um, adding on to those titles, I see. Yeah. No. I'm, it's picked going up any good. new ones. Any over new at the ones? Kingdom. Yeah. Yeah. I, I um I ate some sand the other day and I thought that was good. Turned that into something. Um. <laughs> like, what's going on with you? Well, uh, I was just <clears throat> giving a, a ring here on the old conch shell to 
let uh, I guess the three of you know that we've run into a bit of a problem, and oh. we might not make it to uh, the prison anytime soon. You'll likely beat us there now, unfortunately. Or um, well, can I just uh, can I tell them what happened? And then you got you hear like very faintly in the distance. Do not tell them that our ship got wrecked, or I swear to God. And he's like, yeah. So, anyways, uh, complications came up, a storm, something. We're going to have to go to Oldport a little early here, and we won't make it to the prison. Oh, sorry to hear that. Um, should we meet you with John there once we save him and kill all the evil people? Well, uh, um, if you want to give it a shot and try and save him yourselves, I mean, bringing him back to us that would be a a very generous thing to do, and we would be in your debt for sure. But, um, you know, I'm not gonna ask you to risk your lives for one of our crew members as soon as we get this, uh, Oh, ship- you don't have to ask! It's John! We all <laughs> love John! Right, guys? Mm. What? I oh, love John. John! I love well, John. And then, I mean... <laughs> John. In that case, good luck. Uh, but we're gonna try and get our ship fixed, and I'll give you a ring when we're all settled, and if you're not answering, then you're in danger, and... We'll be in our way too. Hey, just make sure you break us out of jail if we get caught too, okay? We'll Sounds break ourselves like out of jail. Hey, uh, listen, Caspian, you, you be careful out there. If you see little lemurs that shoot fire, don't feed them gunpowder. That's something I've learned. Lemur. We we'll remember do that. Do remember our first ship ship? Oh, and, mm. um. Oh, that's fine. If you see any Navy ships on your way out or in your way in, just avoid them. From experience. And then he hangs up. Oh! <laughs> that okay, seems just like generally take- a good idea. Oh, what's going um, on? Oh, well, from what I heard, you know, bits and pieces here and there, but, uh, but a Lizzie ship. Caspian, you uh, still, Caspian, you staying there? Is Caspian, wrecked. you staying wet? Are you wrecked? still wet? Yeah, they wrecked their ship. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> How did they do we that? Thought, we, thought, we thought they were better pirates than us at one point. How did they wreck their ship? I have no, I have uh, no clue. It's funny. It's so funny. are they there? No, no. They're... No, they, no? Had to, they had to course correct and head yeah. to Allport. Haven't we wrecked our ship like two times? No, no you wrecked no, our ship. No, that's not. <laughs> but that's okay. It's okay. Because you're a fish. Uh, Listen, yeah. we're going to be at the prison by midday at this point. So are they, are they going to meet us there? No. So we're going to wait for them? No. no. So you told them we were going to do it anyway? Yeah. Without them? Oh, Gillian did. On yeah. our own? Yeah. yeah. Three people. I yep. mean, Jay, was, she was Navy like, prison. She was nodding on the side. Worst Navy yeah. prison. Kind of giving me uh-huh. like off, uh, Yeah, the scariest Navy yes. prison, yeah. actually. Scariest Navy this prison. Where, this is where they sent people to die. Jay, you know what's... And Jay's we're going there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Willingly. Yep. yep. On our own. Yeah. Uh-huh. With the ship. That's right. right. And Earl. Ari. Alphonse. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's Alphonse, cool. right. Well, we can always stay on the ship unless you give Holy me Holy shitty Southern, I forgot about that. <laughs> it always catches me off guard. Yeah, it always catches <laughs> Love me this off guy. guard. I feel like every time um, I hear it, I start to also switch into the Southern I feel like uh, <laughs> this, whole, this whole co-captaining thing only works if we... Majority roll. No. Majority is like two-thirds. Yep, two out of three. No. Okay. No, 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 no. That is not how this works. Sure it is. Go to prison. And we stay <laughs> <laughs> Did I just get out captained? Alphonse raises his metallic arm, puts it on your shoulder. I will watch over Holly for you. Yeah, thanks. And we will keep the ship safe while you are in prison. Oh, don't say it like that, but yeah, <laughs> thanks. Oh, oh, Alphonse, um, you're a robot, right? That is what I was supposed to be once upon a time. I would like to think myself more of a human. Uh, you know what? Once I figure out what a human is, is being like. We will help you figure that out. But for now, while you're still on your way to being a human, maybe you could help me out with this? I pull out the little... He looks down. Uh, you're pulling out the... The USB. Yeah, the, like the, the USB kind of like circuit board yeah, thing that you got yeah. from Karina. Oh yeah, that's the, that's the thing that the pretty uh, jellyfish lady gave us. Yeah. Miss Karina? That was her name. I've been thinking about her all day. I suppose I will take a gander at this here device. Gander. You hear this guy? Gander. Gander. Pretty funny. Scanning. Scanning. He's scanning. Scanning. I draw my sword. What's happening? No, no, no. no, no. Oh, righty. Here goes nothing. And he opens up like a little slot where his ears would be and he just inserts it. Is that good for you? Oh. 
And then for a second, his head drops and he uh, is unimmovable. He's just not moving. And he's silent. And you hear like little uh, gears oh, clicking him. inside. Did it kill him? Might Burial have. at sea is what they call it. I start to take I, him up and... No, <laughs> no, hang on. I just like knock on his on his head. Dong, dong, dong. Oh? His head jolts up and in ah, front of you, shit. his eyes light up this kind of like bright gold, which is different from what it usually is. And he goes, hello there, it is me, Mr. Dice. Mr. Welcome Dice. back to the show. No, 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 get it out, get it out, get it out. No, get it out. No, open no, this, no, open no, the thing. This guy again. Oh, Mr. Dice, open. you've come to open die. The open the thing. Alphonse, hey. Well, what's the show? And then his, uh, his, his head kind of like, uh, or, or like, like glitches left and right as he kind of like shakes it off. Yeah, should we be worried about and that? then his eyes dim again yes. and it goes back to the normal color. <clears throat> I seem to have taken in the memories of an AI named Mr. D A I C E. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, that's. Uh, anything? He is yeah. fighting for control over my. He's like Mike moving left and right. Oh but shit! I may have to. Eject and he like goes to his like his like like get Wait, it out. Is, is there anything interesting uh, that you get? I don't seem to be able to eject. This seems to be a virus. Oh no, God! But virus. Don't worry. He's use, fighting for control. I use lay on hands and I cure him of his viral disease. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, he wrote pretty high. Your lay on hands doesn't work. <laughs> it's not that kind of virus. I do. <laughs> <laughs> and he uh, he regains control and he like uh, straightens up his stature. <laughs> I, can I can still hear him. The you can hear him? This appears to be the programming of the AI in a Blue Royale casino. Yeah, we went there yeah, once. That's Mr. Dice. Mr. Dice. Mr. Dice. Mm -hmm. so yeah, is he angry in there? there? We yeah. did kill him. He was yeah. being very evil. I am AI. We can't kill him. But. I have managed to get it under control. There seems to be data locked away, by some protected by magic or a password that I cannot get into at the very moment. Gambling. All right, which one is it? Magic Money. Or Roulette. I will try these passwords. Black tuna. Tuna's good. He's like like looking straight forward, and he's just like cycling through all the yes. words you're yelling out. Huh. Uh, Race. Not her. Pantalones. Yeah. Nope. Kelp. That's not working. Kelp. Do you know That's how many characters working. it kelp. is? Error. Kelp. Error. You can't just keep saying kelp. Well, it's a, <laughs> I'm hitting it repeatedly until it dies. That's not how it works. You have to get the right password. Well, eventually I think I'll be able to figure it out if I just run every single word in existence. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, good luck okay, to you. Okay, it's fine for now. Just if you get anything interesting, just let us know. If he gains control. Please, power me off. How do I do that? I just poke his chest. I don't think we're built to be shut down. What the You'll have to kill me. <laughs> I think that's how the humans do. Okay. That is how we shut people no, down. No, we're not gonna kill Alphonse. Um, okay, we'll figure something out. Just try not to lose control of your body, please. It is a weak, a weaker part. It only seems to be just part of the programming or the AI itself. Most of it seemed to have been destroyed, and this is what was salvaged. Okay, so it's not the whole guy, it's just a little bit just of a Just a little bit of a guy. When I figure out this information, I will let you know. Jay, you've, Great. Got, a, you've got a pretty good memory. Or did he say anything that could have been a password? Um, at any point? House always wins. Oh, shit, he's wild. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby! I am trying to house. No, house, always, no, wins, no, house, house wins. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby, let's go, hey, yeah. I seem to be inside. I am scanning it now. The information that is locked away is the key to running another casino. Oh, boy. However, it has the story of this construct. This construct was corrupted by some unknown force, causing it to be obsessed with trapping those in his entertainment business, i.e. the casino. Obsessed? Because his creators, his creators deemed him a faulty mechanical being and was abandoned and left on this one locked flash drive. And now he's 
I believe so. He's inside of me. Yeah, okay. That's, That's not, not good. I can try and remove the corrupted... Do you have... Do you have... Uh, Morton antivirus installed? You have Clorton antivirus? Clorton antivirus. Wait, that's better. <laughs> I have the uh, shale security antivirus. So. <laughs> it's called shale. Well, we just got a new crewmate, and maybe he might die. So. Or maybe we just got two new crewmates. I am finished. Oh. I was successful. Awesome. It appears to <laughs> What a cool little arc we had there, guys. That was really good. <laughs> It appears this being no longer has, well, if inserted into a device that would replicate the Blue Royale casino, it would be a real casino and not try and trap people in. So we could make a... But so we gambling's can make a, already evil. No, Trapping people in gambling is just more evil. If you think about it, everything is a gamble. For instance, watch this, I'm gonna do a backflip. Probably a success. Fifty. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have in acrobatics? Let's find out. I will try and make peace with this Mr. D. A. Uh, uh, fourteen. Wait, fourteen. Alphonse, say that again. I will try to make peace. No, no, no. Oh my God. I do a backflip as well. Mr. Dice took away his southern. No! I do a backflip and just land on my fucking neck. Uh, I got a four. It may be melding with my. What is happening? No. No. It's not no. southern anymore. You will have to remove it before I become him. No. Okay, I'm going in. He already lost the accent. What's the point? <laughs> make it. Just make a slide of hand. Okay. Ooh, let me do it. All right. Okay, go for it. Okay. It's your destiny, Chivo. It's my. <laughs> I didn't mean for this to take. Destiny. Oh, one, That's a D4. <laughs> he tried. Yeah. Yeah, it's because. Like, so this is going to be a slide of hand. 18 plus one plus that. Um, 19. Um, 28. Easily enough, you're able to take out the, the stick. <laughs> and uh, uh, once again, Alphonse's head drops for a minute. And he comes back uh, and lifts up again. I want to, can I just explain how I do it? Because I think it's funny if yeah. I just go up to him, put my ear up to the side of his head, just kind of knock a couple of times, and then like... <laughs> put what are you doing? And go, don't worry, Alphonse, I got this. But I am Mr. Duck! Just smack <laughs> yeah. it out of his head. <laughs> um, his head drops, comes back up. Easy as that. That was a close one. Oh, he's That's the Alphonse I love. We love him. Saddle up, brother! <laughs> Let's go. It's a strong program not to be trifled with. If it stayed inside me any longer, I fear that my own programming or whatever force makes me me would be lost. How do you feel about gambling? I have never gambled in my life as I run numbers at the speed of light. Okay, I think we're safe. There was a one in a 20 possibility that you could have rolled that number. I, Alphonse, do a backflip. <laughs> if you think about it- Your wish is my command. A backflip is just a roll he of the dice. He fails. He kind of just does tries to do a backflip and then vertically his head goes straight into the deck and it splinters into the wood and just he just he's just oh, like he's an erect Alphonse pillar. <laughs> See, now. Alphonse, destiny has a funny way of humbling us. That also, is awesome. are you okay? You'll have to remove me. <laughs> I want to oh, take pal. this uh, this chip. I still have it, right? Yeah. And I want to put it in my boot. Okay. Cool. That's a surprise to With, after, <laughs> um, During all of this, you guys uh, uh, do this thing with Alphonse, and um, similar to the previous time you guys found an island, you hear Ollie, who was kind of in your little crow's nest up above. Hey, guys, I think I see something. We're coming up. What is it, Ollie? What are we looking at? And uh, getting your attention, you guys look off into the horizon. Notice that it, uh, enough time has passed uh, for you guys to arrive. And what you are going to assume is the prison. That's much more big and intimidating than I thought it would be. All right, it land ho! A Fuck. massive structure. You're not close enough to dock or anything similar. But in the distance, you see at first just this uh, uh, rhombus-shaped structure. And you rhombus. swear you watch rhombus. it turn. Rhombus. The whole building, this massive building, you watch it turn to be a square. Where? Whoa! As you guys get closer, Those and you, uh, you, this becomes more into view. You are looking at a, a square-shaped 
building with this kind of shimmering red, almost obsi like red obsidian stone. This shit is straight obelisk, bro. God damn. It does seem very obelisky. Uh, you see the top half of the structure turn, the right half of the structure turn, the bottom turn, and then the whole building turn. It's but like there's a fucking just, Rubik's cube. Yeah. It, is, it is like one big glittery red, uh, so red brick like obsidian, uh, yeah. obsidian brick Rubik's cube. And there's just this one uh, long stone kind of catwalk or, 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 or platform that uh, you see there, there are no ships around. You're the only ship coming up towards it. <laughs> oh, God. And it's just that one kind of like stone dock that uh, is leading towards an, uh, an entrance that isn't shifting by the rest of the building itself is moving and turning. Well, looks like we just head in the front door. And Hang then... on. Uh, should we just be approaching like this? There's no other I mean, ships. Can I, can I roll a history check on this? Yeah, you can roll history. What are you looking to remember? I just want to know, like, if they watch the outside a lot at all. Uh, or if it's mostly, like, on the inside or how they kind of approach their security here. I have an idea. I'll tell you now that too, Jay's, stupid. like, knowledge of this, like this prison is very minimal. Yeah. Because I rolled an 11, so that matches. Okay. Um, with your history check itself, the most that you know... Uh, especially as you're coming up on it and, and, and just remembering bits and pieces that you've picked up. The most that you would know is that this prison, um, people are taken to, you know, what who Navy deems as the uh, top criminals mm -hmm. and uh, traitors. They just pretty much get taken here and then they disappear. Oh. From, they are never nice. seen again. Uh, so. You also yeah. know that this uh, cube structure is its own island, technically. It is uh, uh, suspended here on the waters, sort of in like a, 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 a uh, just like a, the same material, red uh, sparkling brick obsidian or obsidian brick foundation in the in the whole building that is just, I want to say gargantuan again. It's complete. It's very very big. Guys, it this is feels just like a ship goes down island. It does. <laughs> I dropped my and, pencil. Um, shit really did go down. That's all you know. You know, it, it was discovered. Mm. Do I know the name? Yes. You, you did do. send it to me earlier. You do. So. Okay. Um, you know that this is, uh, the reason why you know this name is because you know this prison was discovered 10 years ago and put fully into effect five years ago. This, oh, it was discovered. Cool. Whoa. So Jay relays all of this now? stuff to yeah. us, correct? Essentially, yeah. Okay. I, um, yeah, this is this is the block. It is now called this the block. Is, yeah, block. That's B-L-O-C-K, not like the word block. It's like a... That is the word block. Well, yeah, but like it's, I don't know what the, each- the, You know the world government loves their acronyms. Acronym, yeah, it's an acronym. Oh. I don't know what it stands for. So, hey, you don't. Jay, um, how smart do you think the people are in here? Um, Like on, on a scale of one to 20? Sure. Seven, maybe. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you think we could fool them? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, I don't. I don't think they're gonna expect pirates to try to break into their maximum security prison. All right, sweet. Because I have an idea. And oh, as no. you turn around, <laughs> there's just no way you see your brother. Oh God! How do you? How do you even know what he looks like? I saw him. What? I You're actually him? not when sure that this is her, her brother or not. I saw the dude. Yeah, I, that's who you know I would be. Like. Yeah, that guy. You know, guy. it's a Farron. Yeah. Yeah. Do I know who it is? Like, which you didn't one see him. Be? Didn't see him. At yeah, all? but he's him right now. Um, this I is. Know. This is a, a, a figure that you've seen like at gatherings. Okay, so like not... But it's a distant family member. It's okay. not closely knit. It's How just you... another fan. Are we fooled by the disguise? Roll, if you <laughs> if, if you want to roll insight against his deception, I'll go ahead. Roll, I'm I'll not gonna roll. It would be, you could roll inside. Natural one. No, because you know it's Chip who just used magic. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Uh, wait, how have you seen any of my roles? Finally, before? the second round of our do- Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just Chip, it's Chip. just Chip. I mean, I guess that Wait, works. Wait, you knew. I did. I don't I'm know how. You. you must have deceived me really poorly. Or you watched me do it. <laughs> I didn't think it was weird how you were yeah, suddenly replaced yeah. by. Well, yeah. maybe I take you in as my prisoner. What? Well, we need someone on the inside, someone to locate Marshal John before we can extract him. Okay. And we can't do that from the outside. Are you watching how this this prison is shuffling around? It's going to be hard enough to find one prisoner, let alone three, if I get locked away. 
Well. Yeah, yeah. Your your comparison to a very large Rubik's cube is pretty much yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm assuming I mean, it's it's definitely shuffling around like. Not the, if you have one of the guards it's moving like, it's you in intervals, around. Right? It's not moving every second. It's just in intervals. It goes. Yeah. You can hear it now as your boat gets closer. Okay, but I'm not going in. I could also just pretend to be Navy. I mean, it's not hard. Well, sure, then we can take. I don't, I don't think they know who I am. Oh, think about it. The newspaper said that there was fugitives uh, traveling with members of the undersea. True. We have a member of the undersea. I am from the undersea. Yes, it's true. You are. That's cool. The chosen one. Chosen one. From the undersea. Oh, and so what do you need? You're in prison. We need you to go to jail. Okay. Okay. <laughs> awesome. I'm glad we sorted this out. <laughs> but the only thing is, if we're approaching on a ship like this, flying a pirate flag, they might not like that so much. Why haven't we just taken down? We could just take down the pirate flag. No, we can't. We can. Just go. What's and wrong? We go into the well, crow's I nest. Mean, I would ordinarily it would be dishonorable, but it doesn't feel like honor is. A Gillian, thing. you took an oath. I took an oath to to this pirate crew. Trust each other to be the best goddamn pirates anyone's ever seen, and okay. the best pirates would never lower their flag. Well, wait, does the spyglass actually work as a spyglass as well? Yeah, of course. Okay, I'm gonna look through and see if like there's- You basically maybe... just roll uh, perception with advantage. 15, 17. Uh, I have eight perception, I'm pretty sure, so 25. No, okay. it's, it's 21, Never mind. I think Means and Masterminds has inflated my idea of how much my skills are. <laughs> so with the 21 um it's blurry from this distance if you're uh, if you guys are arriving at the very end of that walkway mm -hmm. to dock your ship mm -hmm. um it's blurry at this distance even with the uh spyglass but you do get the basic uh figure of what or the basic like structure of what's happening at mm -hmm. the gate there yeah so what you see is this uh kind of this just rectangular opening rectangular, like doorway um, and it's just a, a, a very dark, it just looks like a black void from this distance, especially. And in front of it, there is someone like leaned back against it on a stool. That like square is not moving, but everything around him just constantly just shifts. Like pieces of it shift, big Rubik's Cube. Just a single uh, guy on a stool. And it's just, he's in the, the, the red, white, and gold uniform. It's kind of cut off. Uh, uh -huh. You can't really see his features at the moment, but he's just sitting there, uh, leaned back. I start running he's at him. He's just one. You're literally on a boat <laughs> <laughs> miles away. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I don't even think you saw him. This would be like a like a hulking, like not hulking, but like a well built foot Gary. Hey, so Jay has in her inventory clothes costume. Can I costume be a navy outfit that she had? Uh, what did you say? She so a what? in her inventory, she has clothes costume. Uh -huh. Can uh, that be a navy outfit costume? that she had? You mean just a costume? Um, what is clothes costume? I don't know. I just have you a You'll have costume? to. You'd have to explain to the others why you're carrying around a navy outfit. I mean, I used to be in the navy, technically. So you just carry around your uniform? I mean, I, you know, keepsake. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'll allow it. I mean, why? I just don't know why Jay would take her her navy uniform if she ran away to be a pirate. Yeah. I, yeah. I mean, I'm just looking for. I don't know what else this this costume would be that I have, <laughs> but I can. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to use it. I have something in my inventory. You could guys... I help fashion uh, somewhat of a navy uniform? Um. Uh, I mean, it, oh, you. Got, I thought you guys had a plan where you were going to disguise. Well, right? he's got a navy uniform. <laughs> Oh, you're right. So Wait, true. what if I take you both in as a prisoner, and then when we get in with just one guard, we fuck him up and take his uniform? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I mean, what do we do with him afterwards? I don't Throw him know. in prison? Sure. Okay, cool. Uh, if you guys want to be, you can just dock right now and be right at the end yeah, of that. Yeah, sure. Let's just dock our pirate I ship. <laughs> I don't know if we should do that. Um, no, no, it's you fine. Just, you basically would have to just like drop anchor right at the, uh, right at the edge of this walkway here. Almost, like it's like a bridge almost that it just extends from the door and that's it. That's the I only think way I in. would probably just dive off the side and swim up. I think we could use like a like a sail or like a little boat, like a. Do we have a little boat. sailboat? Okay. We have this, and I use uh, water or shape water to just make a really shitty tiny ice rowboat. <laughs> so you guys are basically going to the walkway now. Yeah, uh, as, as I would you're like leaving, to get some chains from the below deck uh, so I can. Cuff, cuff Gillian. Yeah, okay. uh, he wouldn't actually be restrained in any way. Yeah, um, uh, Jay is going cuffed as well, or 
Uh, yes. I'm dressed up as a clown. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, she should. She you're going to get, yes! you're going to canonically have a clown outfit. <laughs> and you're going to have to have a backstory for why you have a clown entertainment That's outfit. That's fucking awesome. I'm so happy. <laughs> Does Jay do parties? I got to know. Um, we'll yeah, let she, it come up. We'll let it yeah, come we'll up. Yeah, we'll let it come we'll up. Let it come up. Oh, come All right. Maybe it'll come up in this prison. As Who you knows? guys uh, hop off, Gillian goes and he forms the boat and then dives right into the water and swims up. I dive into the water and all my face paint on You The bitch just, it was like five seconds long. What happened? <laughs> no, all right, yeah, and you guys get into the ice boat and um, head over to the. Oops, sorry. Yeah. Head sorry, over no. to the. Thing. Jay, do you know but as, uh, yeah. who this is? I'm pointing at my face. Like, it's like a member of your family, right? Yeah, I mean, I've seen him at like, you know, we get together for. So a, what does a, he a catch sound like? What's his like? What's his deal? Uh, his deal is he hits you with a big pole and doesn't say anything. Yeah, big he doesn't pole. really. I don't have a big pole. I don't, I've never seen him. He's kind of like the brooding in the corner kind of guy. Brooding in the corner. You think yeah. I'm really upset about my life and the circumstances yeah. around I make him a bit. And, and if you walk up to him and point. approach him, it looks like he's going to stab you. I'm going to stab you. And I'm showing that with my eyes. I think that's about what I remember from, uh, again, okay. we did family cash and cooks all the time. <laughs> catch and cooks? It's when you catch kish, fish and then cook them. Catch, cook, and clown? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, that's that's I why I have fish. this. I, uh, I, make, I use shape water to give him an ice pole, too, because this guy had a pole. Sweet. Uh, as you guys are all leaving the ship, Ollie kind of streams out and he goes, Good luck! Um, I'm so Thank you, Oliver. What the... <laughs> That's so cool, dude. Is that I, you, Chip? I just, like, just uh, undisguised my face. Yeah, it is. It's cool, right? It's awesome. Hey, don't do Do I get it. something like that later? Maybe. Sure. If we survive. Which we Damn will, it. totally, just surely. stay safe, all right? We'll come back with Marshall John. What monster are you dressed as? And if so Alphonse one, uh, this acts one funny, called a clown. just um, throw him in the water. He'll short circuit. Uh, okay. Uh, I think we're gonna try and circle the ship just around the the building as if you guys were like at the grocery store and we're looking. We're not like there's nowhere yeah. to park. It's a grocery store. Sounds good. So we draw you what we drop you off and then you come back. Maybe we'll hit one of the what was the what was the um C convenience C store chains the C marts. C -Mart. C -Mart. Yeah. yeah. Maybe we'll hit one of the C marts and like get some supplies and stuff. Oh, cool! Like when my parents drop uh, me off for training, you'll come back though, right? Yeah, of course. Just don't die. We won't. Okay, we'll try. Believe in you, captains. I believe Jesus. in me too. I immediately start running towards the man. And I don't believe in anything. <laughs> you better find some goddamn fruit in that prison. Throws that shit. You start running Wait, towards he's the man. He's supposed to be a prisoner. How can uh -oh. you run oh, yeah, you're on gotta, a boat? You gotta be a prisoner. <laughs> he, he dove in alone. Well, you better fix that. <laughs> no, no, Gillian, stop! I stop. can't. It's no. my destiny. Stop. All right. This is bad. Uh, you it's up. like the uh, it's like the Monty Python scene. I'd like to actually <laughs> chain him up if I can get to him. No, Gillian, stop. So, so my destiny. I want to I want to try and actually yeah, before he if runs. If you're trying to like run away from him, you'd have to just make contesting strength against Yeah, better. I'll do that. <laughs> you're fucking unbelievable. Dude. <laughs> you, you make me crazy. <laughs> Gillian Tide Strider makes me fucking nuts. I'll, I'll help. Say it's my destiny. You'll help? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Natural 20. Woo! Woo! All right, I got you a 24. are. Does 22. that do anything for me? <laughs> oh, man. Can, can the situation Wait. bonus from me? <laughs> Does he have a deep I would like I would like to be chained, but like to be like a feral animal still running. Yeah. Out. So like, yeah. you okay, have the chain, so, so I am chained up, but I'm- Yeah, I, I, I actually <laughs> chain you, so I'm, I'm holding you. You're like being dragged <clears throat> along like a dog. Yeah. yeah. And All right, I, so I'll shout to the man. Careful, we got a hefty one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, this one's dangerous. <laughs> you guys, you guys get up, and the guy who's sitting there is just, just straight <laughs> up. He's like a, like a pale-skinned uh, half-orc with like pointy, almost like a, like pointy goblin ears, but he's definitely half-orc because of the tusks coming out. Uh, and he's big, almost as big as like Goliath. He stands up. He's like, whoa, whoa. What's happening? We now need your clothes. You. Stop. <laughs> we need to get these prisoners inside now. I need to get inside now. Hey, sir, what's behind your ear? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> You're, I'm, I'm going to chain Jay as well, if I can. She's a clown. You I'm can't. a clown. Okay. That uh, doesn't mean <laughs> anything to me. I slip my hands out of the chain. You don't. She's, I do. She's so you funny. Don't. She can do anything. You keep rolling dice and know, seeing I a number know. thinking like... <laughs> Think he's saying it's doing something. Uh, Jay, do you resist being shackled? Yes. All right, then you guys roll strength against Why the Why are you guys like this? <laughs> I'm a clown. <laughs> 14. Is it my destiny? Yeah. 
Fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you get. Uh, I only got like a fucking eight at the oh, end of the day. Fourteen. Right? You're able to shackle both of them and keep them both like from from charging into the. I don't even know where you're trying to charge to, but you hold him back and uh, the big half four guy. <laughs> I need help with these. <laughs> I go right. and he, uh, he, he grabs <laughs> he grabs the uh, uh, the chain that that's holding Gillian. If you want to make a contested strength check against this big half orc, sure. That's my best with me. I'm helping him, so he gets advantage. Oh, you're helping me or the half orc? Not you, you fucking deranged <laughs> fish. Twenty four. I got a oh damn! I got a twenty two. Okay. And I got a nine. So he's ah. able to keep you. You're actually now fighting, and you're like. Shit. <laughs> uh oh. It's a good thing you're here, Vice Admiral. These two would be oh. going crazy. So we can just let them in and uh, say bye, I guess. No. I'm taking these in personally. These two here took my ship. We were on the way out and they raided us. Roll deception. Sure. So that's going to be <laughs> 13. Oh, fuck. But is, but is it my destiny? He he would. I'm restrained. He would fail. So, like. Okay. Woo! So anyways, the conversation keeps going. Well, uh, I can't question if I said, bro. I gotta go in. Whatever you gotta do, you just gotta do it, right? Honk. We don't have time. Get them in now. Hold them with me. Good looking there. As long as you got your doohickey, you'll be all right. I'll keep it in here. Uh, I do gotta mark your names down, though. I have my own doohickey. So who, who are these bastards? What are they doing? Gillian Tide Strider, <laughs> champion of the undersea, hero of the deep. This is one of the assholes from the pirate crew. From the undersea. Walking And fish. this is uh, his the clown, clown <laughs> friend. His clown girlfriend. We ever no. get information on uh, what their crew's called? Or? The Riptide Pirates. They're very, very, very strong. <laughs> you caught two of them? Yeah, the third one got away. Leave it to the vice He's the Admiral. coolest. <laughs> <laughs> he was so right. slippery and strong and handsome. Actually, you know, I know I'm a clown. I joke around a lot, but... The, the Quiet, guys... prisoner! He the, was awesome and you knew it. The Just thing? clown. <laughs> Say your Only yes. the most powerful could get away from me. What's Vice the, Admiral. Don't know what his name is. Vice don't. Admiral. All right, Gillian Tide Strider. That's me. Champion. Champion. Yeah. Oh, but it's not in air quotes. It's real and not in quotes. Who's Champion the clown? of being in chains. You know, I don't, I don't, a traitor coming here a few nights ago. A traitor? Yeah. Hope he's dead in there. That's my boy. Where yeah. is he? I'm the clown. Uh, Traitors deserve a fate worse than death. Who's this one? Don't have a name. <laughs> they just call her the clown. Honk. The clown. Honk. All right, Vice Admiral Tay. You're Please. good to go. I just give him a nod and I move forward. Should I, uh, I call you up to the headquarters let him know you're here? No. You should give us your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> They're unhinged, huh? <laughs> unhinged, crazy. Don't worry about it. I'll speak with them myself. Vice Admiral, we need his clothes. <laughs> he, uh, he straightens up. He's like super big. He like flexes. Yeah. His his form goes like wide, almost like a okay. V shape, and he yeah. gives you a salute. Sir, yes, sir. I kick him off the platform. No, you don't. I, I... <laughs> come on, you fucking animal. Big shoes. Uh, and I and I walk forward. And I kind of lean in. That was awesome. So, you guys are walking into the prison. Yeah. What's your marching order? Um, so it is a narrow Jay will way. be on my front left, uh, Gillian will be a front right, and I will be walking behind. It has to be in a line. Gillian um, is in the front. I'll be in the he's, middle. he's just running forward. I'll be in the okay. Yeah, I'll be in the middle holding All right, each then. of them. Okay, Chip, uh, can you unchain us now, please? No, you're acting like fucking idiots. Well, yeah, hey, I mean, we had uh, to sell what it. What the fuck was he talking about with a doohickey? I don't know. What do you mean you don't I know? I think it sounds like you need some know. doohickey to get in this facility. If anyone was supposed to know, it would chill. Yeah, well, we could have killed him and taken his doohickey. He probably doesn't have a doohickey. We Why would he still have a doohickey? Do it, Why didn't you tell me I was the Vice Admiral? Well, yeah. It's I... like way more important than just a dude. The Vice so, Admiral's not that important. Sounds important. You guys uh, enter this uh, almost like a void doorway. Close. The inside from the outside looks to be completely obscured. It's nothing but a dark entrance. And as you guys walk in, you are in a, a, a narrow hallway where you have to walk in a line, like I said, mm -hmm. and surrounded by you is that same red brick as the exterior, and it's just this one narrow hallway, and at the very end of it, you can see another one of those dark uh, uh, entranceways that is just, uh, uh, there's, you can't see anything past it. 
It almost looks like the hallway itself continues forever, but you know, uh, as you get closer, you're going to walk into somewhere else. Mm. And then as soon as you walk through, you can look to your left, your right, up and down, and there are four different directions to go, and they seem to be constantly moving in front of you, like the like up the and the down, cube. shifts yeah, to the left and to the right, and the other two hallways to your left and to your right, as soon as you emerge out that main hallway, they, they go up, and then they come back down, and then they go right and left, and they, everything seems to be shifting in this kind of like 10 second interval. Well, I feel like we're gonna get lost in here already. Um, I right, take a right. Do you guys agree? Gillian. Gillian. Okay. <laughs> uh, alternatively, <laughs> for the future, um, if you don't want to decide, you can roll a d4. You know, there's surprisingly little people in here. <laughs> and Once we find the guard, I'm gonna disguise myself as him. We need to lay low. As you hang that right, uh, you walk down another hallway and uh, continue the same. Everything is the exact same uh, environment around you. It doesn't really change. Mm -hmm. uh, the only thing changing is the kind of uh, hallways and floors themselves. Okay. Uh, almost like that ever moving ever-changing labyrinth of a library in Harry Potter or something, but it's just mm -hmm. always in front of you. So in the building, are there any windows? There are no windows. Mm. Okay. It just seems to be this like... Any discernible details that distinguish it from the other halls? Nothing. Fuck. It's all the same. Um, Rough. As I'm walking through, could I possibly mark each hall that, I, that we walk through? Uh, with um, what? So let's see what I have. You I do have a candle, so I could kind of rub off some of the wax along the ground, okay. creating a line. Yeah, you can try. Cool. I could try. Hmm? What, you can what certainly I, try. What do I do? What do I roll? Do I roll? Uh, you're just leaving wax behind? Yeah. Um, to leave a trail in case roll, we need just to. Just roll survival. Ooh, I think I'm good at that. 15. You um, believe with your with everything changing that if you leave this behind you will see it again and know if you're going in a circle or not or if you get lost i guess we could also just uh keep the cube in one place how what i take out my immovable rod <laughs> and i try and use dude, it dude no you're gonna break the game <laughs> what are you what are you doing exactly you're also, gonna break the game <laughs> you can't do that you're gonna lag the server just <laughs> There's there's no reason there's no reason you shouldn't do that, but don't do that. So the rooms are shifting, right? You're... So what if I take out an immovable rod that doesn't ever shift and click it? What can happens? the, can the, the rod right. break? Where are you going to put it? In the middle of the room, in the right? Of the room, I guess. This yeah. you can feel in this room. You are moving and moving with it, and if you um well. Right, it only moves in intervals. And as soon as you walk into this hallway, you feel it move and then it'll stop until you exit, basically. If I put the rod there and click it, will the rod uh, stay like relative to us or does it actually just like stay where it is in space? So you pull it out, you click it in place, right as this hallway is shifting, once you step into it, you're assuming it's shifting to where you're going to exit from. You put the move over rod, you're like, oh here, boom. <laughs> and then it, it stays in one place and the wall is coming. You can see, you can now see the movement. Without the movable, movable rod, you can only feel oh, it. Okay. So you can see the movement with that rod. You can see it kind of going up uh, in like a, like a left diagonal or up diagonal. And it goes towards that, that, that corner of the floor. Oh God. <laughs> and um, you see the two like, conflict the move the immovable rods not supposed to move but this building is moving and then within like a split second it is just shifted and it continues to go in that same spot with this room as oh, if so, okay, the force so. of this room moving is much greater than the movable great. rod well i guess your chalk idea is gonna have to work the immovable rod moved that literally one job in order to That's move just uh, you would know that it, it's like a dc 30 strength check Mm. To for a humanoid to move a, ro a rod, but this is a structure and it's okay. it's huge. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it makes sense. Then, yeah. The room stops and there is another void exit for you guys to walk through, not knowing what's on the other side. You guys just want to take turns rolling d4s and fucking winging it? Yeah, sure. Sure. <laughs> I have no idea where we're going right now, so I'm gonna roll the Santa one. Where does Santa will us to go? Four. 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 What does that mean? I don't know. Okay, so let's say right. one is one is left, two is straight, three is right, four is up. I actually have it written down here. Oh. So oh. we go four. One is up. We go four. Two is left, three is right, and four is down. Well, that's just ridiculous. We go down. The first time you took a right, you basically walked through another one of those those void doorways and into another hallway. So you can't go straight? There is, what you know right now, the only time you've gone straight is when you walked into the prison. Okay. And since cool. then, you haven't been able to walk back. Gotcha. 
So, since you took that right turn, there was no okay. going backwards. <clears throat> uh, after the right, you walk through another one of the similar hallways, and you're going towards, uh, you're going four, which is down. As soon as you guys go down, um, it's not a, it's not a stairway. It's more of like a, a, a it's still yeah, that same hallway, but this time it's, it just, it goes forward for a minute and then declines like a, like a steep decline. Uh, it's not, you don't have to slide down it, but you can walk down it. You just got to hold on to the walls. You're still in this marching order. Um, and then as soon as you walk through that, that black doorway, you immediately, uh, Gillian, because you're up first, you immediately feel your leg sink into oh. some marshy brown water that's rising oh, up gross. to your thighs. Yes! And everybody Moisture. follows behind you, and you, you too as well, sink into this like, this uh, this murky oh. water. Chip, why'd you bring us to the shit room? <clears throat> bring us anywhere. And you're looking, and bits walking. of like, bits of this slimy organic plant material cover the surface of the water. And you look around, and it's just this swampy area that's partially, your vision, <laughs> Partially <laughs> obscured by purple mist. Just oh. subtle purple mist. And you can hear in the distance now this low. Is that behind you? About this. There is no entryway that you came oh. from. Is that? I've heard about these dwellers of land and sea. Is that? Is that Froge? I, I think it might be. It's called frog. It's a frog. Frog. There's a amphibious. There's a clear, quote unquote, pathway as it's kind of like built or structured by just swampy trees sticking out of the water. I don't think we're supposed to walk this way, Mr. Frog. Don't don't bother the frog. Are you there? Don't do it. I need to know what it's like. It's to be it's able in to it's in it's in the distance, but at the same time, like it seems far away, but it's kind of like all around you, like you're in a chamber almost. But it looks. Like you're in a big swamp. We have to find the Maybe frog. Maybe we'll find the frog on the way. We have to. I want to. I want to go out of the way to find the frog. No, no, no. Can I do a perception check to find the frog? What? Yeah, you can roll I perception. Think it's just ambient sounds. Shit. Wait, do you hear that? I got a fall. Do you hear that? Oh, audio funny. jungle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're in the audio jungle. <laughs> with the four, and even with Jay's passive perception, um, you don't see any no like, frogs. Are there tadpoles in the water? You don't even see movement. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> you don't see movement other than like the we water. We continue down the hall. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So you walk in a straight line from where you entered and you continue to get immersed in this kind of swampy environment mm -hmm. and you every once in a while still hear that, that low uh, croaking sound almost. Can I use shape water to kind of like, like kind of wish the water out of the way for us so it's a little easier to go yeah, through? Yeah, yeah, cool. It makes you uh, able to move just a little bit faster. This would technically be difficult terrain if we were in combat, but you make it a little easier by shifting the water right. left and right. And um, eventually as you're walking down the straight path, you see again that uh, uh, almost like a wall in um, in a, like a video game where it's just that one black door once again it seems mm. to be the exit and but it's it's more obscured by like that that purple smoke or mist and as you get closer that grumble that growl gets louder and you hear is the frog no. behind this door maybe I uh, and then you hear a closer. ruffling like shh Jay. The water in front of it starts to bubble. Jay, you tell move. it a tell it a joke. Um, no, don't tell no, a joke. I think we should just go back the way we came. It ripples even more, and then you see something emerge from the water that right that in front of the doorway. I'm ready. And in front of you, as it just sort of stands up, as if it was lurking underneath the water, that that uh, growl coming and making its throat vibrate. Uh -uh. You see a bulky creature with monstrous uh -uh. limbs, oh. resembling an ogre almost. It's a bit uh -uh. hunched over with a series uh -uh. of spikes lining its spine, with warps and sharp fins all over its devilish red and purple skin. Its head resembles that of a toad, having a wide maw with rows of blunt teeth as it gets closer and closer slowly stalking towards you all as you get closer as you have gotten closer to the exit gil and it gives off this purple smoky aura that's not a frog gil my beautiful <laughs> baby i think i'm about to break the pirate code and it's kind of like that 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 toothy wide maw that opens Don't up a little you bit dare. saliva drools off of it as smoke exhales from the nose and the mouth and all around the body i subtly use shape water to put the pee back in <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't shape my piss. Don't shape, say that. Piss shaping. <laughs> and piss shaping. I'm going to need you guys to roll initiative oh! because it's going to lunge towards you. Oh! Oh, oh! shit. However. Why? However. We're going to end the session there, baby. Oh! <laughs> so, I hear, what's um What's everyone's best frog noises? How about this? Herbit. Herbit. No, no. We'll come back next time next week. We'll see y'all next week. Y'all see y'all next week. Just keep on rolling. Just keep on Don't forget to be a doer. We'll continue the uh, Riptide Pirates venture into the block, the Navy high security prison, and uh, see how they fare against what is supposed to be a Hezro. And hey, how about we talk about our plans? Hezro? On just, just rolled, rolled with it. it. Right. We got to do that show. now. Where we talk about the show. <laughs> yeah. All right. We will catch you patrons over on Patreon. And if you're not, go check it out. Because we have a lot of uh, fun stories to tell. Oh, too, yeah. Right? We got some, we got some <laughs> fun stuff. It is 100 stuff. degrees in this room. Yeah. Well, ah! 85, maybe we 90. The, we are in the swamp. So. We are, we're, we're feeling swampy. Real life. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Swamp you later. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. All right. Bye. <laughs> Well, 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 look who decided to roll on into the part of the video where I'm now going to shout out everyone who made this wonderfully scuffed Just Roll With It studio possible. The Big Motherfucking Cheese. Alyssa. Apple. Beats. Benjamin Talavera. Blue Blend Blop. Bowling Ball Iron. Buttery Toast. Chalky Driss. Cheshire. Clarence, consume cheddar. Okay. <laughs> Cornier Comet, Creepy Reaper, Crobins, Chrysanus Sin, Derpy Tricks, Dream Strider, Edgy Moss, Elise the Washed Up Bard, Everett Stoker, Ex Poogaloo, Gillian's Biggest Fan, Humming Jay. Jay Newell, who's been a patron for over three years. Holy shit, thank you, Jay. JRWI Enjoyer. Jumpiest Venus 34. King of Ranch. Kylie Evans. Material Seaweed. Misfit Wolverine 15. Mr. Griffin. Netvin. Nonex Lodal. Pet Hedgehog. I tried, but it hurt. Princess Vegeta. Resha Snivy. Riker Kiro 2. I'm saying it that way this week because I still haven't figured it out. Salutatien, Sandy007, Scarab5, Sebastian Saunders, Serene is actually a skeleton, befitting of the season. Ooh. Soul of a Pep, Spinyax, The Copper Android, William Smith. Oh my god, he's here. It's him. Raytheon, Zerberus, your gal pal, Valerie V, Zelfar Pendrake, and of course, Zero Codex. It's so awesome to see so many new faces in the High Rollers tier. You guys just keep rolling, and we'll keep trolling. Troll you later.